PhD student at the University of Exeter. Um, I'm in my first year, so I've only just started. Um, my project's going to be looking at using some of the tracer data to quantify the heat CO2 uptake in the Southern Ocean. Uh, so I'm part of the CFC tracers team from Exeter. Um, so there's five of us in total in this sort of lab in a container. Uh, each C2D class, we take about 20 samples. And at the moment, we've been doing three or four C2D class a day. So obviously that kind of stacks up to 60 to 80 a day. They take about 20 minutes per sample, so it's quite a workload. So at school I took biology, chemistry and maths at A2 level. Then I did an integrated masters at Southampton um, with one year at the University of Washington. And so then the whole degree was in oceanography. I think oceanography is quite nice because there's always something new to discover and it's quite diverse. You kind of learn about the biology, the chemistry, some of the physics, but all within the context of the oceans as opposed to one subject where you just really go into one thing. So you're quite interdisciplinary. One of the cool things is when you bring up the water from the sea to D, you're kind of emptying it into bottles and it's from like 4,000 meters deep and you think, wait, hang on, this, this water hasn't seen the surface for however many hundreds of years. It's quite like an abstract idea. I think probably just that it's a bit of a mystery. You can always find something new. There's so much data out there. Just waiting to analyze it.